So in an ideal world, all your patients would get their heads onto the slit lamp and would get their pressures checked using Goldman Applination Thermometry. But life's not like that sometimes. People may have scoliosis, they may have bad Parkinson's, they may just be a bit on the large side. So sometimes it's not easy to do Goldman Applination Thermometry. And you want to have another technique which is of similar status and similar standing and equally easy for the patient to do. And so in those cases, I reached for my Perkins. Uh, and it's the same principle, the same technique, but rather than using it on a slit lamp, use a handheld one, sometimes with the headrest, sometimes without the headrest. The same basic technique, except using a handheld instrument and just as valid, just as accurate. And again, using the one touch technique, much less likely to cause any damage to the eye surface. So the first thing we'll do is put some anaesthetic in the eyes. So if you look up towards the ceiling just now, a wee dribble of that in. Give you a wee tissue, because that nips a bit when it first goes in. Disposable prism heads again. Get it into position. And just the same as the big one, we're going to insert the prism head into the holder, making sure that the wee flat bit is at the top so it's sitting nice and flat along the horizontal. <clears throat> but he set the instrument up to read at 18 like I did the last time on the Goldman. That's my one touch technique, that's my safety point. And if you look up towards the corner of the room up there, using the brow bar, get the instrument position just to drop in place, pull the top lid out of the way, almost touching the eye, bring yourself across, drop it into place, check the Myers, and that's almost exactly correct. So pressures are about 17 in that case. Nice and straightforward, nice normal pressures. Thank you.